Jumps Multimedia. My name is Chris. Yes, last week we had a great, great gospel show that featured Matthias Mary, Sharon Manyonganise, and Evangelist Nashi, all the way from Zimbabwe. Uh, today in the studio, we have our girl Mpomi and Sharon. Wake Up Canada, it's your girl Mpomi, Riel Munene once again. We know the past weekend we had this mega gospel show where we had Matthias, uh, Sharon and uh, Nashi performing at the People's Church. And today in our studio in uh, Jams Media Production, we have none other than Sharon, the Zimpre Zimpraise lead singer. Sharon, welcome to our studio. Thank you very much. So, how do you like it uh, being here in Canada with us? Like. How long have you been here? It's almost two weeks now. Yeah. Almost so how do you like it being in Canada? <laughs> well, I I really cannot uh, can't say that I what can I say? I have really gone around out and about to probably see how Canada is like. You right. Because so, we've been busy preparing you know, for the for the show. For the show, so yeah. you kinda like need to it's you and then right. go out and about after right after you, uh, the the show so but i, I like it here i think wow. it's a good place kind of mm -hmm. it's a good place and the weather as well right compared yeah. to the compared cold to the winter cold that i've always so been hearing <laughs> it's very cold there it's very cold so yeah right oh I okay like yeah like on uh, on saturday you made us cry <laughs> so tell us like what's the, where is that motive coming from like uh, when you were singing, I saw everyone on the ground. Tell us, uh, is it something you you prepare yourself, or it just happens naturally? It's it's very funny. I I too was very surprised mm -hmm. because I've just been praying, seeking the face of God, just surrendering everything to God, and I was like, God, it's my first time in Canada. I don't know the congregation. At a personal level, where I put, and I don't know what I'm going to say to them. Right. I don't right. know how I'm going to sing and present myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best, Lord. You do the rest. So, whatever it is that happened on uh, Saturday, yeah, it was the doing of the Lord. Trust wow. me, because I've just been praying. And actually, and when I uh, when I finished singing, I asked people, "How was it?" Mm -hmm. And people were like, "Oh my God, it was like this." It was you like are so that. amazing. But then I was like. Oh. I was surprised too. You know, God is just amazing. No, just God is at work with you. God is at work. You touch so many people's lives, including myself. <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand Shona, but I found myself on the ground, like praising the Lord in my own language. But through you, you are so amazing. So Sharon, yeah, yeah. So Sharon, tell us how long have you been in this industry of music and uh, like ministering to people's lives? Uh, I can say 2017 is the fifth year. Yeah. Wow, it's the fifth year. I started in 2012. 2012. Yeah. Wow. So did you start like? Did you grow up from uh, a Christ, Christian family? Oh, yeah. yeah. Going to church and yes. then that's how you started singing. Oh yeah, I started singing when I was in Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Actually, my preschool teacher wrote on a on a, report, a final report that she gave when uh, when I'm graduating to to go to primary school. Right. On a report she wrote. Uh, she's a musician wow. and my mom didn't know so mm -hmm. she actually then caused my mom to like have a have to look at me and probably try to dress me and see where right. where this musical side she's talking about is, mm -hmm. is is yeah so uh it's coming up so that's when i started singing at school wow. you know but being in a uh, doing music and taking music as a, at a professional level mm -hmm. i started in 2012 yeah. wow no, you, you, are, you are so blessed. And uh, like, um, I was just thinking of you as a person. Like the moment you step in, in the stage, no one could ever imagine that the Sharon, the tiny one, I mean, <laughs> can actually perform this much. So like, uh, since you've started, uh, you, you started at 2012, like uh, in, in the music industry, right? Mm -hmm. What was the biggest audience that you've ever performed? and? Uh, if you can recall from that big, biggest audience, people who have just started their lives through your music. Well, 
I recall singing uh, at this Glamis Arena with the Zimpres. Oh, by the way, I'm a Zimpres member. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Zimpres music director, actually. So wow. I've been I've been singing since 2012 with Zimpres. That's when I joined Zimpres. Mm -hmm. 2012 up until now. Right. I'm still singing there. Yeah, I'm still a member, a strong member. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and uh, the crowd that I recall singing. The biggest crowd was uh, when we sang in, at La Mesa Arena. Mm -hmm. was more, there were more than 13,000 people. Yes. That's a big number. Yeah. yeah, just to mention that. And I'm sure we also have uh, some conferences in AFM mm -hmm. where there are hundreds of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. About testimonies, uh -huh. I think they came more when I when I, I asked a question on Facebook and I'm like, and I did right. my album, Praise Be God album, and I'm like, mm -hmm. which song has uh, do you like, and what has it done to your life? Mm -hmm. What change has it brought to your life? That's when I received so many testimonies. People were saying that I, my boyfriend, divorced me when I was we about to get married the following wow. week, and someone like I, I was, I was, my doctor told me that I have cancer, and that song, the number one, number two song, track number two, called Agatelika, kept me going. Mm -hmm. It is something like that. More testimonies, yeah, but just to mention a few. Wow. Now God is in control. God is in control. This yeah. So, like, uh, I know you'll be leaving Canada soon. We will miss you. We will really, really miss you. Yes, you do. So, what's <laughs> going to be, when is, when is your next show? Like, uh, do you have any show coming up soon? Um, when I go back to Zimbabwe, I'm going to be preparing for the Zimpraise Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, Ah, uh, that's a whole lot of work. So I think that's one major thing I'm gonna be focusing on. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm sure I've got some shows coming up. Just a few shows coming up. We'll just keep you posted. Right. Mm -hmm. No. What else can I say apart uh, apart from saying thank you so much for being with us here in Canada? It's been a blessing having you in our lives. You've touched our hearts, and uh, you know, like God works in different ways. The way you like. The moment you stood up and you started worshiping, you are such a great worshiper, by the way. Thank you. I, I can't recall like uh, your praises than the worshiping because I was <laughs> most of the time I'm like on the ground, on the ground. Wow. But we really thank God for having you in Canada. And uh, uh, I've actually okay, I've actually uh, I've already heard that you got married, yeah. and you got married to a powerful pastor. What message do you wanna spread to the world <clears throat> about this combination? <laughs> I can see the world being in trouble. Pastor and this praise are here. What do you wanna tell the world? I'm uh, I'm grateful to God for such a gift He gave me. Uh, Hello, Teacher Ryan, as my husband, and uh, I. I just have, I've got confidence in God that everything is going to work out well. We are protected, we can always be winning. And aware uh, about, uh, about the ministry that God has given us as uh, ministers of, of, of gospel or music, I believe God knows better what we are going to do, how we are going to do it, how we are going to win souls, how we are going to make many come to Christ through these voices. And I also believe Ella is a, is a pastor by calling, so that makes everything easier. Uh, it's such a great combination, yeah. And I'm glad God gave me him as a, to be my husband because I, I'll never look for any. <laughs> I'll never be be complete without him. 